Hello everyone. You're yeah, welcome to our channel once again. Today we are asked to calculate the Reynolds number of a flight of an aircraft at a given altitude using the previous equivalent aircraft speed calculated. Now let's go through our question. Calculate Reynolds number of a flight at an altitude given kinematic viscosity of 1.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 meters squared per seconds using the previous equivalent calculated speed value. Now we are asked to calculate the Reynolds number of the aircraft flight. To calculate our Reynolds number, let's pull out our parameters. Now we are asked to use the calculated, the previous calculated aircraft speed. If you watch our previous video, our calculated air speed was V, which is 186.13 meter per second. And our cord, our aircraft wing cord equals S over B, our C which is cord, our S which is equal to your wing area, our B which is equal to span. So, don't let us forget we are given, you know, from our previous video, the wing area is 130 meters per second, the span which is B equals 40 meters, and our kinematic viscosity which equals 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second. Now let's put it in our formula. Therefore, we have our Reynolds number, which equals equivalent speed of aircraft multiplied by the chord of the wing over the given kinematic viscosity at the altitude. So that gives us our VE which is 186.13 multiplied by our chord. Don't let us forget our chord equals the span or area of the wing of our aircraft over over the B. So that gives us 130 over 40 over our viscosity kinematic which is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 5. So that gives us our Reynolds number to be 3.78 times 10 to power 7. Thank you very much.